The day has come. The day has arrived. And no, I'm not talking about the end of the court journey. All right, it's that day hasn't arrived yet. You feel me? You still got some more time together. The day has arrived where I kind of sort this out. I gotta sort this out for real. For real. <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, I never seen my cheek with so much hair on it. This is crazy. I gotta sort this all out before Friday because Friday is the panel event at the YouTube space. And I'm gonna be talking about Nalu hopefully wearing the new court collection you feel me so yeah now nah, i'm excited <sighs> i gotta do a lot today i gotta do a lot i gotta edit yes i gotta edit the vlog from friday for me i gotta get my hair cut i gotta sort out today's deliveries i gotta do some admin <sighs> so much so much so much so much day 70 is a b vlogs you're I started off the morning today watching the different vlogs of the other people on the panel. I woke up early this morning because I knew I had to consume a lot of content. I knew I wanted to watch the attendees vlogs. I knew I wanted to watch the, the panelists vlogs. And I'm actually quite happy. Like I'm, I'm actually quite happy with who I'm on the vlog on the panel with. They all seem like down to earth people. They all seem like people that are not afraid to show the real of of the journey that they're on. You feel me? It's not like they like to show perfect settings. Like they'll wake up in the morning and put pick up the camera they'll they'll talk about you feel me the the like the inner insecurities on camera like i love that i love that so these these are people i can relate to i can't wait till friday can i keep it real with you guys can i keep it real with you guys i'm on the panel right and i can't help but notice that everyone on the panel that's next to me has a cr like a crazy sub count and here's little old me for me on 7k they all got their own flats they all got their own places i'm like yo i still got the kitchen i still got the yo i still got the nalu kitchen i say that as a joke obviously sub count will never ever equal self-worth you can have one subscriber and still understand that you're worth you're worth the world you can have five million and not understand what you're worth sub count never ever equals self worth and i understand that i always check myself before things like this to make sure i don't end up overcompensating end up trying to trying to match you feel me i don't i don't like that type of stuff i'm where i'm at they're where they're at there's a reason why i got chosen to do the same to be on the same panel as them the organizers can see the value that i bring to the table i, I ain't gotta puff myself up to make me look like i'm bigger than i am all i gotta do is be myself all i gotta do is be myself and i just said that because there's a lot of situations that you guys may be in you may enter a room full of people that got a lot more money than you you may enter a room of people that are all employed and you're unemployed and you're looking for a job you gotta understand that there's a reason you were allowed in that room you belong there imposter sy imposter syndrome don't live here don't live you see, you see my heart right is that my heart i think that's my heart why is it not beating? But I'm breathing. I'm breathing, so I don't know. I was let into the room because I belong there. Life happens at different times for different people. But everyone got their own time, you feel me? And there's a reason why I'm still at home. The decisions I made in my life, whether mistakes in the past or decisions I made now, that has brought me to where I am right now. So I'm not stressing, man. I'm not stressing, but it, it, it was worth, like, it was something that I did want to get off my chest and let you, let you guys know because I feel like a lot of us do it. A lot of us see other people's lives and feel like we don't fit in or feel like we can't be there because we don't amount to you for me stop that stop you, you feel me? look into my eyes right now all right they look kind of kind of red because i'm tired but look into my eyes for me stop that go 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 out there and go get it done i'm about to have genuine tears bruh I'm about to have genuine tears, bruh. I'm really about to cry. Like, golf is so close to losing right now, and I just don't. Come on, golf, man. Matter of fact, we're not sweating it. We're not sweating it. You feel me? She made it this far at 15. The 15 youngest to ever do it. Don't get that twisted, you feel me? Black queen out here. Black Queen. She inspired me. She inspired me, and I'm sure she inspired a whole lot of girls, a whole lot of boys, a whole lot of men, a whole lot of women. Michelle Obama. Appreciate um Corey Goff. I seen. Come on, man. Corey Goff is an icon. I don't care what nobody. Nobody can tell me nothing. You heard? Oh, I don't even know what type of day today was. I don't. I don't. I really don't. Today, I really lost track of time. Before I knew it, it was eight o'clock. The sun was still out. 
Can we speak about this real quick? Is it not a little scary how right now it's like 10.30? Okay, not 10.30, it's like 10 o'clock and it's still not dark outside. Like, that's type sus, even for the UK, even during summer. Before y'all come in the comments, oh, it's summertime, you should know. Stop it. And I'm looking at my, my get done list. What I did do is check, get a haircut, LinkedIn, boom. Um, I didn't make more animations. Post them, oh, I didn't do that, damn. I didn't even get through half. Oh, <laughs> how I put watch Coco Golf play. That's not, that shouldn't be on the list, but I just added it anyway. Edit the vlog, I did that. Okay, for me, not too shabby, not too shabby. Before I go to sleep, because I am getting an early night tonight, I foresee that people are gonna wanna know what made me start Nalu and why I chose fashion or why I chose do rags as the centerpiece for Nalu for me to start off. Again, it's not complicated. Again, it's simple. Do rags is a culture that I'm a part of. Growing up in Staten Island, New York, I, I was wearing do rags from the age of, to say I was six years old wouldn't even be a stretch. Do rag culture is all I knew. You feel me? Successful people. Do rags, rappers, do rags, criminals, do rags. However, when people on the outside look at us, it's like they're all criminals. You feel me? They're all rappers. They feel me? But they don't say we're all successful people. Negative stigmas. And that's what I want to change. That's why I chose do rags, because do rags is something I understood. I understood that people get misjudged just for wearing do rags. And then Nalu isn't just about do rags, Nalu is about polarizing pieces in general, a proclamation of culture. That's what we're doing. We, that's what brought about the whole court collection because I realized there's a lot of culture when it comes to tennis. Althea Gibson, Arthur Ashe, Zena Garrison, you feel me? Re do your Googles, I do, do your research real quick. For you guys that are thinking, how could you start? How, like, how can you find what you're looking for? All you gotta do is look at what you know. All you gotta do is look at what you like doing. Do you like to draw? It doesn't mean you should start selling art for a living. Explore that realm of art. Explore what you like to do. Explore whether you wanna work for somebody or work for yourself. You have what it takes to do to do 67 days in a row. Do you have what it takes? That's a real question. Do you have what it takes? I told my friend Mo, Mo Chunks, I said to her, I said, tell somebody they can't, and if they don't, they never wanted to. Tell me to stop Nalu right now. Think I'm listening to you? After all I, after all these 67 days I put in, you think this, bruh. No matter how many times I've wanted to quit, I never quit, you know why? Because I want it too much. I want it too much. You see what you give up when life gives you what you want. I say it all the time and life's about to give me what I want. I promise y'all. It's about to give us what we want. I promise y'all. I promise. I promise. Look into my eye. I promise. I'm not playing. I'm not playing at all. Find what you want to do. Just look to what you know. Look to what you, what you understand. And I'm not saying stay in your comfort zone. It's not the fact that I pick up a pen and start drawing, it's, just, it's the fact that I can create something from nothing. As a creative director, I create something from nothing. I take fabric, I make art, you feel me? I take concepts, I make visuals. Like, yo, yo, I'm a genius, I'm a genius. And that's why, that's why I'm, I'm patient. I'm patient, because a genius never gets credit where it's due. A genius never gets credit in the beginning. Einstein never got credit until after until later on down the line. Nobody was screaming his name back when he, for me, back when he was on, back when he was under that tree, apples dropping on his head, nobody was shouting his name. For me, I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. I know, I know my life, I know, I know what's in store for me, I'm ready.